Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel Anita and I like to do videos about finance, career, lifestyle, and all kinds of things. Today we're gonna to be doing a paycheck routine. I love watching paycheck routine videos. I love payday because I'm able to look at my money and feel like I'm in control of my money and feel like I have I'm in a good place financially. So I think it's, if you feel insecure about your current financial situation, I think it'd be a good idea to create a payday routine, to create a budget for yourself, as it will allow you to have more control over your money. Something that's really important, I think, is to have a budget or start setting up a budget when you want to start doing your paycheck routine. Um, I will link a video up here and also down below where you can, um, I give out a free budget template and show you how to use it. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. I also post a lot of really cool content on my Instagram, so check that out as well. But let's get started, okay? I just wanted to show you my budget and how it looks like when I go through it. It's really important to me to have my phone, my laptop, my wallet in front of me so that I can make sure to use those as necessary. I love payday. I get a text from my favorite money app uh, called Capital. Uh, my paycheck goes straight into there. It's like a banking app. And it sends a text as soon as I wake up and it says, it's payday a deposit has been inserted into your account. And I think it's really important that you get everything done on payday and not a few days later so that you don't miss any payments and don't miss anything that you're supposed to be doing. So I'll open my capital app and immediately look. So I usually have some money left over um, from my previous month because I don't usually spend all the money. So today it says I have $2,711, okay? So we're gonna look at that. So there's an additional 348 that I'm bringing over from my previous um, month and then and then I also have $550 that I saved for a credit card. So I'm gonna put that in there as well. And yeah. Okay, so that's how much money I have available in my account. And what I'll immediately do is go through and start transferring everything that I need to pay. So these are the things I must pay and I plan for myself to pay. So of course I have to pay my mortgage. And so I'm paying part of my mortgage. So the first thing I'm gonna do is transfer that money into my mortgage. Okay, so I'm gonna move money to my joint bank account with my husband where we we have our mortgage taken out of and other things so I'm moving 470 there the next thing I'm going to do is pay part of my Barclays card so let's do that so I'm going to go to Barclays.com and pay off my credit card immediately or definitely write down all of your credit card payments it might not be like paying off in full it might be like $30 that you're paying toward it but always make sure to on the first day of the month or the first day you get your paycheck to make your payments because otherwise you might not be able to make them later when you spend your money okay so I think that's super important and it's a huge part of my payday routine. Okay, so always make sure to pay off the most important things first, which includes your rent, your bills, things like that, and then go move on to like your student loans, credit cards, and other things like that. That stuff must be paid. And now we're gonna go on to like more fun things like myself, for myself. So after I pay those things, I'll have $1,200.41, okay? so. We're gonna move to consumables. I'm gonna give myself 400 again because I have extra money there. We're gonna also move, I'm also saving money for two different things, which include travel and LASIK. So now that I've transferred some money out, capital will show a lesser amount. It hasn't removed the um, Barclays funds yet, but it has removed my um, rent. Oh, I'm gonna move $411 to LASIK because I'm saving up for LASIK currently. And then I'm going to transfer the rest of this Barclays money into my main account. So now my main account has $2,380 left. All right. So out of that's going to come in a few days, it'll take out the $1,550 and then I'll be left with $400 and $150. So I'm going to create a new goal because I'm traveling soon and I want to save up for that and not be stuck with no money once my time comes. So I'm going to set up a new goal here. I'm going to rename this one actually to travel as I'm going to a few weddings and I want to make sure I'm spending money for that. Okay. So now I'm going to transfer the set amount that I set in my budget, which is right here into that travel account. Okay. Now I didn't account for this, that I'd have $280 left over. So I'm going to figure out what I want to do with that. I'm gonna put a little bit more into my uh, travel account, uh, travel section because I, I think I need a little bit more money than $150. Um, so I'm gonna transfer that money into my travel account. So that's gonna be another $100. 
and now I have zero dollars left over. So I'm gonna transfer an additional 200 ish dollars into my Barclays account, which will allow me to complete paying my Barclays card off a little early. So that's always great, right? That's very exciting. I get to pay my Barclays card off early and I'll be left with $400 um, for my consumables, which include food, spending, etc., etc. Now, this section is what um, this rolled over from. So I didn't spend much money on myself in from January 1st to January 15th, and that's why I had so much left over to bring over. So if I have anything left over from my consumables, like let's say I don't spend anything of it, or like only spend $100, I'll be able to move $300 over to the next section um, on the next payday. This paycheck doesn't have a lot of stuff on it, just because I like to pay my larger bills, like auto insurance and stuff, in larger sums. So like on April 1st, I'll be paying my phone bill, which is $360 a year. Super cheap. Check out my mobile down below. I freaking love them. I pay $360 for unlimited data and everything. That's amazing. And then I pay my car insurance at the same time as that. So those that month, I'm paying a lot larger sums than I usually do. So that's how I manage my paycheck day. I love paycheck day. I love payday because I'm able to look at my money and feel like I'm in control of my money and feel like I have, um, I'm in a good place financially. So I think it's, if you feel insecure about your current financial situation, I think it'd be a good idea to create a payday routine, to create a budget for yourself as it, allow your, as it will allow you to have more control over your money. Now, thank you so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate you and I hope you stay tuned for future videos. I do a lot of finance videos, career related videos, and DC style content. Um, and I hope to see you again soon.